Hello, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the code and um, what I've found so far from exploring it. So here I'm at the GitHub website. This is where Intro Labs has the source code for RTAP map. Um, the main core libraries are located here in this core lib folder and source. And these are the implementations of the major libraries. So for instance, you have rtabmap.cpp, rtabmap thread, odometry, and so on and so forth. Um, also, the entry point into the code appears to be in one of two places. So in app, source, and then main.cpp. This is one place where the code can start and you can kind of follow it from the calls and see where it goes as far as depending on what you're looking for. And then another place appears to be an example is RGBD mapping main.cpp. So depending on if you notice once it's built you'll notice you have several executables and that's what these basically are, these main.cpps. This is the first thing that runs during the during when the executable starts going. So okay, but anyway, um, as far as using the GPU to improve the speed of image matching, so you know with stereo vision or with RGBD mapping, there's some computation to compute the depth, and most of that be found in here in features2d.cpp and here is the actual implementation depending on what parameters you set um, as far as what feature extractor you're going to use whether you're going to use SIF, SERF, or what have you um, it's going to have an implementation here that actually calls the underlying OpenCV or PCL libraries to do that. And all that's here. One thing I noticed is that there are options already within this code to enable GPU utilization for, key, for feature matching. So, for instance, there's one here with SERF where if you have the GPU version, and it mentions CUDA. So that could be a next step as far as from what I've read so far it's difficult to get it to run on the Jetson TK1 the GPU versions of the SIF and SERV and they're not really open source um, so there may be a workaround I'll look into that and see how hard and you know how time consuming that would be but that's worth looking into. And there's also another alternative um, with the GPU version of ORB, which is just a, another feature extractor. Um, I believe I saw that somewhere down here. Yeah. So you can also use a GPU version of ORB. So I don't think there's much work as far as, you know, getting a GPU to do the feature detection fast. I think most of that's been done. The main points that I did find where the code can be optimized by the GPU is going to be and where a lot of the features are brought together to kind of get a pose estimate and that's going to be in this file here the util 2d cpp And here you see a lot of like if you're working with the RGBD sensor you're going to call this function to do the depth from disparity and you're going to do that at a per pixel level so that can be very computationally expensive and in its current state it's not GPU or thread optimized so there's optimization that can be performed there there's also other plus spots where you have nested for loops, here's one. So the GPU could be used to optimize that. So that would be the primary um, 
objective going forward is just to start to add the CUDA code into this section here and measure you know whether or not it improves performance other than that um, I'll take a few days next week to see about getting one of the GPU feature descriptors running on the Jetson TK1 and see whether or not it's feasible to do or you know if it's going to be very time consuming and then I'll also um, start to explore the CUDA code that will be necessary to optimize the aforementioned code. And so um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or contact me. I should be there in person next week. So thank you and have a good day.